the sound of rushing mm -hmm. water, City Creek experiencing rising water levels, and the city has been placing sandbags at Memory Grove Park to mitigate that flooding. Yeah, that isn't the only way they've been preparing to deal with spring runoff because there's a lot of it coming down from the mountains right now. KUTV's Emma Riley joining us live from Memory Grove Park. And Emma, is the water pretty high? The water is slightly making its way over these sandbags, but it's not exactly making its way down State Street like it was 40 years ago. And the city tells me they've been working around the clock to ensure history will not repeat itself. As they wait for the waters to reach its highest peak, locals have been stopping by the park to check it out. This is the highest I've seen City Creek in the years I've lived here. It's been impressive. There were people kayaking down here uh, over the weekend. That hasn't happened before, I don't think. The city is predicting City Creek will reach its peak by this week. But contrary to 1983, they say they are equipped to handle it. The peak flow is forecasted to be around 123 cubic feet per second. And the capacity of the system in that area is 220 cubic feet per second. So, so far, it looks like we'll be able to handle that capacity. The preparation for this year's spring runoff has been strategic. Briefer says hydrologists, engineers, and maintenance crews have been working around the clock anticipating the flooding. So what has changed since the 80s? Quite a few things. First of all, we have debris basins that will capture debris before they get brought down into the piped part of the system. So that mitigates that kind of a risk pretty well. And the pipeline that collapsed in 1983 has since been replaced with a more efficient pipeline. I would say that we're in really good shape right now. We can't control the weather, and that's the one wild card. But the infrastructure is in great shape. It's, it's clean. We've been monitoring it. We have our stream teams out 24-7, making sure we don't have debris in the way. Even residents have been returning to the park to do their own monitoring of the water levels. It's a thrill to see the water coming down. I mean, there are actually rapids in City Creek, which you know you never see. So it, it's fun to monitor it. And if you are excited to come out and check out the rushing water at City Creek, it's important to be safe and keep your pets on a leash. The city tells me that they do have thousands of sandbags on standby if they need to use them. In Salt Lake City, Emma Riley, KUTV, 2 News.